Hi everyone, this is Pam. Welcome to my channel. I just thought I'd show what I got at a flea market. Uh, I've never been to this uh, one before. I guess it comes to uh, this town in Michigan, Hudsonville. It's at the fairgrounds. This is for next year, 2019, but um, the one I went to, it's called Farmhouse Flea, Pickers and Makers. Um, and the next one, well, there'll be one in f the fall. I guess they have one in the spring. And then they have this Christmas one, too. So, anyway. Uh, had a fun time going to that. I just thought I'd show you what I got. So, I, I'll show you the books I got. I really like this one. Elementary Home Economics. Cookery, Sewing, Care of the House. Isn't that awesome? So I've really been wanting to do a, a journal, um, you know, like cooking, sewing type. And this was a study help for high school students. And it has some markings in there. Look at that picture. <laughs> Measuring to find the right amount, the amount of material needed for the nightgown, 1924. So this would be really great. It's got a few pictures. So that would be good for like a homemaking type journal. Proper way to hold a knife and fork. Kitchen sink. Foods and cookery and the care of the house. Wow. So I'm excited about that purchase. Um, actually, I think I got this at a thrift store, not the flea market. But um, look at this. I mean, I don't know. that doesn't look real appetizing when it's black and white, but it sure looks kind of retro. Look at that. So... This is hmm, 1961, so I thought that would be good for a journal. And then I got this little beauty, Gifts from Your Kitchen. Surface cooking, electric cooking at its best. Electromaster, Detroit, Michigan. It talks about using your range. I don't really see a date, but what I really thought was awesome was, look, I don't have any of these old recipe cards, so that was a bonus. Foolproof pie crust. You can't really see it that well, but I don't care. I like it. Cookies. Just cookies. The economy cooker. And it's even got kind of rusted staples. Um, I wish I could find a date. Electro Master. Oh, I don't see one. So, I like that. Oops. And then I got this one. World's Favorite Songs. Irving Berlin. 1925. Nelly was a lady. John, Eyes of Youth, kind of funny titles, some of these songs. So I like that one. I got, um, I have to wash these, but these are some vintage, looks like quilt squares. They're quite old. 
I just got two of those. You can see it's been hand sewed. There's a little holes in them, but I really like those old fabrics. And I got this one. I just got two of those. So I got those. Then I got this little handkerchief with this real pretty crochet pink trim. Thought that was really nice. Then this piece I thought was a real steal because <clears throat> I don't think I paid, I think I only paid three dollars and I got a couple yards of it. Oops, where's the end of it? Oh. Wow, I think, oh, no wonder. <laughs> it's all one piece. But I thought this would be nice, like on envelopes. You know, the flap on an envelope. But it also looks like it, I don't know what it was, but there's a, um, maybe it was a curtain. There's like a little teapot. little pitcher. Teacup. Um little maybe sugar bowl, coffee pot, and then what is this? Oh, I think I might have it backwards. Oh yeah, because this says four o'clock tea. Isn't that awesome? And then it goes again, teapot and sugar. But that is really beautiful, and it's, I don't realize it's just like all one piece like this, so I don't know what that would be. It's like a circle all connected. So that was really nice. I've got, um, this was $6, vintage doilies, two large, three small. And some of the threads are missing, but I don't mind that. Here's some tulips. See, there's some threads missing there. And then it has this pretty edging all along. And so there's that one. There's another one. You know, still has some other stitching missing. You know, a little bit here and there. I still think it's pretty. Then it has a couple smaller ones. Is that the right side? No. Oh, no, that is the right side. So, yeah, there's missing threads. I still like it. And there's, you know, this one looks a little better shape. And that one's probably the best. So that was nice. Then I should have gotten more. They had vintage um, aprons. So I just got this one. Look at those pretty fabrics, and it has the rick rack all around. So it's like this. Here's the top. Then here's your ties on the side and then you have this beautiful fabrics and then on the end it has that this might be hard for me to cut up for a while because that would be cute if I ever sold things at a vintage flea market to wear a cute little apron like that so I think this is my favorite purchase. So I love that. Then I just got oops, a piece of vintage fabrics, kind of a narrow piece, but you know, quite long. And um, so I got that. Then I went to a flea, no, what I went to, I went to a thrift store and I bought um, 
a few items, you know, things that you could repurpose, like these silk ties. These are silk ties. And I thought, you know, with um, boho journals, you're buying silk. And these are silk ties. And how did I see that? I saw somewhere on here. Yeah, here. Made in Italy. 100% silk. So I thought that was really cool print. Kind of a retro print. And this one kind of retro-like. And they were only a dollar. And then I got another one. And I took this one apart. This is silk. Arrow. So go to your thrift stores. Look for ties. And you know, it was like this, and I just took it all apart, took this out, piece the inside, just opened it up along the seam. Now you have beautiful silk material for uh, boho journals or, you know, anything. Just really pretty. So I'm going to be doing that with those. And I also got you know, what also you could do is look for skirts or dresses. Uh, this one, I think I paid $3 for this skirt, which has this beautiful band at the top. And I could take apart for boho gypsy journals. Then it has this beautiful fabric with all these threads. Isn't that pretty? So a lot of that. And then it has... I think this skirt is beautiful. What's this? It's like a bobby pin. Oh, the skirt's beautiful. Look at that all along the edge. Little, it's beautiful. And it's like pleated. Oh, I could take that on. I can undo that. So that was great because you get a lot of uh, trim. So if you're on a budget and you want a lot of lace or trims, just look at things that you could uh, repurpose. And then you got all this too. Uh, a couple other things that I got in a flea market. I usually buy these online, but these are these glass. Oh, I can't think what they're called right now. Uh, but I put them on tassels. Really pretty for 50 cents and usually they're they're not cheap, so that was a real good score. You never know what you're going to find. So I was very happy to find those. And then I just found these, um, I feel like, you know, shells with this on. That would be pretty to put on a journal, pretty blue. Maybe a floral journal. Then a few things I got, which I'm not sure I've shown before, um, but I will show them. There's some of my favorite books that I found for um, junk journals, especially uh, for little golden books. Or, you know, I can use these books too, but I really like this uh, Rand McNally book of favorite pillow time tales. And it has these three stories, so, oops, sorry for the glare. So if you're looking for a book you know, that you might want for junk journal. You have Mr. Bear's House, Tubby Turtle, Chester the Little Pony, Choo Choo the Little Switch Engine. But you have these beautiful illustrations. I can't even fit it all in. Um, look at that. Look at that one. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give an illustration of the type of book you could use for a junk journal. There's the pony one. So cute. Look at those kids. So maybe I showed this before. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's one of my favorites. I also like A Treasury of Little Golden Books. And this is like a big one with 30 of them. Best Love Stories. You can even, you know, make these little tags here. And this is Last Printing 82, 1982. And it has all the 
stories like the pokey little puppy, the taxi that hurried. I don't mind that one. I do have Saggy Baggy Elephant. I don't think I have the animals of Farmer Jones. No, I think I have about 130 little golden books. This one's pretty. New baby. Scuffy the Tugboat. I have that. But I have um, some, like, Scuffy the Tugboat. I might have three of those. So. Fix it, please. This one's really adorable. I don't have this one. Noises and Mr. Fliberty Jib. Yip Yip and his Bark. Guess who lives here? That looks really cute. Look at these. Which one is this? Busy Tammy. Oh my gosh, look how adorable he is. So there's that book. If you're looking for a book to, you know, maybe look at a thrift store or Goodwill or Salvation Army or look online. This is one, I think I recently got a book of Nursery Rhymes, Jane Johnson. Nineteen eighty-five. Real pretty illustrations here. Let's see how I can do this without it being so much glare. I don't know. If I can. There, maybe like that. Real pretty pictures. So well, there's that, a book of nursery riddles, Jane Johnson. This book I think I got on eBay with a bunch of other books and it's coming apart, which is fine with me. A little, the golden book of poetry. This is a beautiful book. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with this? Nineteen fifty seven is a date right there somebody received it Simon and Simon Schuster a lot of it was a lot of books 1949 all right so here's a great book with beautiful illustration So there's that one. This one's beat up too with the binding. Doesn't matter to me. The Golden Mother Goose. Beautiful book. This will be hard to cut into. It's 1948. I don't know that I'll cut into this one for a while anyway. Here's Old Mother Goose. Let's love these colors together. That. Isn't that beautiful? Old tape here. This is a real fun one. Jack's rat. So I love that one. Giant golden book. 367 childhood favorites illustrated. And then it's by Alice and Martin Provinson. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I have this one, a big collection of little golden books. I like this here. Well, this introduction by Kate. Primo, 2003. It has a lot of the, you know, a lot of the books. So, very nice. I love this story. <clears throat> I need to find this one. I think I have the big one of this bunny one. So, what's it called? Home for a bunny. 
yeah, home for bunny. I have a giant, the bigger book of this, but I'd like to make that into a junk journal at some point. Look at that, so adorable. And then the next thing I'd like to show you, somebody had asked quite a while ago, and I'm sorry it's taking me so long to show this, um, how I um, do my paper organization. So I'll kind of bring you over there. Hopefully I can do it. So I have this closet here. And... I showed part of it, but somebody had asked how I put the paper on the bags. So, um, you know, I have my bigger paper pads here. And then I have a lot of solid paper. Here's my craft in white. But look at all that solid paper. That's when I was doing mini albums. I don't really use it that much, so i got to figure out how to use it. And then, you know, when I put the names on the, so I know what they are. And then here, these are these, you know, shoe boxes that you get, like at Michael's or Joanne's. And then I just put my six by six in here, you know, with the different names. So I have two of those and then you know I think I showed these before just kind of like my single papers here and so on but how I do my in the closet I hang these paper pads up the ones that you know I might have already cut into and not used totally or you know new ones too but I buy at the Dollar Tree these heavy-duty storage bags. The extra large, so you get two in a pack. And then, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but yeah, it's, um, you just take, these are kids' hangers. And I just, you know, loop them around here. You know, you could do it in the front, or you could, you know, have the hanger in the back. So that's all you do. Get a child's hanger and then hang them up in here so you know on this side you know, if I have you know extra little cut aparts and those journal cards note cards you know, if it has extra little goodies in it I'll you know hang them up in these bags here and then sometimes I'll you know label them and this has you know in the back it has a little extra so so I have a whole bunch of these and then oops you know what's that anyway we have all those on that side and then on this side of the closet, I have, I just labeled on these, I think they're like kids hangers and they had, you know, how months, zero to three months or whatever. So I just labeled them. That's graphic 45. And then in alphabetical order, I just have all my paper pants in here. Because that way I can keep the cut aparts, I can keep the paper. And, you know, if I've cut something apart, like this one, botanical tea, then I can, you know, keep everything in there. So, yeah, I have a lot of paper, don't I? So, what's this one? Penny's paper. I can't wait to do that one. Look at that one. Love that one. So, and then I have Authentique here. So, you know, then I have Cuddle Girl, Homestead. Then I have Cartabella. 
so that's and then I have Echo Park EP. So that's how I do that. And what else? I also don't think I showed. Well, I did show here. I have this little basket. Basket thing. And then here is like six by six paper pads. Um here. And then this one's empty. I'm gonna put something in there. And then I just I think I showed this. This is like where my flowers are. And they're right here. In the shoe bag. And then you know this bottom was was bags. There's that, and then I don't think I showed here. That's just copy paper, you know, for coffee dyeing. And then here I have washi tape. It's kind of messy right now. I did have it where it was all color coordinated. More washi tape. And um, these are just these little, from the dollar store, I believe. These little containers, and they fit right into this. You know, one of these carts, which is mm, what the drawer's about 11, a little over 11 inches. So it's one of these carts here. Then I have edge punches, edge punches, and then I just have extra inks and things I didn't know where else to put. Here I have all like my specialty paper. You know, I can wrap lace on these comic book boards. Transparency films. Vellum. Um, you know, foiling. Uh, poster board. Sparkly. Papers, glittery, glittery, and then these are just extra little things, but I do have some organization with a lot of these from the Dollar Tree, and um, I can show that at some point too, but um, I just thought I'd share that with you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.